because the wallet says so, and because SDCC, these pre-orders gotta go. Well, hello there, everybody. I'm Photo Dave, and this is Toy Picks, a channel dedicated to helping you and helping moi get a whole lot better at our action figure photography. So, if that sounds cool to you, go ahead and click subscribe while I describe what's going on in this video, folks. SDCC just happened, and uh, there was a lot of cool stuff shown, and. Uh, Mr. Stabby, the wallet, was not pleased with what I wanted, so he insisted that I get rid of some pre-orders. So, that's what this video is all about. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm going to be getting because of SDCC, and what, well, what had to go. So, let's get to it. But first, before we really get cracking on that, keep in mind this channel really is about action figure photography, but I don't think my behind the scenes videos are helping enough people. So, I've been working on something behind the scenes that I hope to release sometime within the next couple weeks. Stay tuned for that. Also, just because I'm canceling some of these pre-orders doesn't mean that they're bad figures. Obviously, I thought they were pretty sweet or I wouldn't have pre-ordered them in the first place. It's just all about collecting priorities and shifting priorities and all that craziness. So, if I got rid of a pre-order for a figure you can't wait for, don't judge, don't judge. You're going to love that figure, and I would too if I... Uh, I didn't have to shift on the old priorities. So with all that said, let's actually get cracking. The first figure to get the axe, thanks to SDCC, is the Beast Kingdom Dark Side. Now, the reason he was on pre-order, one, I think he's going to look great under the lights, but two, when it comes to my collection, I have the Moffat Superman, and he doesn't have anybody in my collection that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. So I wanted Darkseid for that reason. But, as I'm looking at the things that are coming out, he just fell to the back of the line, and it was time to, uh, time to get rid of Mr. Omega there. I am hoping to one day, as Toy Picks gets better and better as far as making the monies and all that good stuff, to possibly go back and get that Beast Kingdom dark side, or maybe by then an even better one will be announced. But yeah, dark side, you had to go. Next up, we have the two last Ronin figures from NECA. The last Ronin himself, the best turtle. I know, I know, I didn't want to cancel him. After canceling him the first time, and then re-pre-ordering, and then re-canceling. But the fact is, I saw what was coming at SDCC, and they're gonna go deep with The Last Ronin. And frankly, I, like it sounds like many of you, if I can avoid collecting from the start, if I can avoid picking up a figure from a line, then I won't go way deep in the line. But if I do pick up a figure, chances are, I'm going to go more nuts than I'd like to, even though I'm a pretty picky guy. I think NECA's last Ronin figures just look too good. Plus, they've got other stuff coming that has much more of my interest than an alternate dystopian future of turtle death and craziness and destruction. They got the Mirage stuff. And let me tell you, the Mirage stuff I hold near and dear to my heart. That's always been something that I wanted NECA to come back around to, and, uh, that one's gonna get pricey. So something had to be done, and that something is cutting out the last Ronin line. And last, but certainly not least, I canceled the pre-orders for four, Canem uno, dos, tres, cuatro, four Star Wars Black Series Dark Troopers. I know, I know what you're thinking, and you're right. They are going to look great under the lights. There is no doubt. But I canceled them for two reasons. One, the main reason I ordered them, aside from looking great under the lights, is I needed something to be in photos with my SH Figure Arts Luke Skywalker that would make it so that I could make it look like Luke has a real challenge going on. Much like Superman, he needs real adversaries. But then I thought about it, 
These dark troopers appeared in just over one episode of The Mandalorian, and frankly, they weren't a challenge at all for Luke. He could have slept through that throwdown. They, uh, they were nothing to the man. If I really want a challenge for Luke Skywalker, I need to go back and pick up the SHF Darth Vader from Return of the Jedi, and... Whew! That's a pretty penny. Even canceling those pre-orders for those Dark Troopers isn't going to make that happen. But number two, for the foreseeable future, I believe that G.I. Joe will be taking up all of my Hasbro money. Yes, I even saw the Ghost Rider tease for the HasLab, and I'm thinking, that looks really cool, but here's the thing... I already have the Mezco Ghost Rider coming, and I'm sure that that's going to look great. I like Robbie Reyes. I would love to have a 112 scale Hell Charger if that's actually what they end up making. But the fact is, I don't need it. I don't need it like I needed Galactus. And so, really, things like Serpentor are coming. I had to pre-order Dr. Mindbender and Sergeant Slaughter. I am chuckling because I had to pre-order those guys. So, it was only natural that something else was going to fall by the wayside, and this time, due to Hasbro kind of cannibalizing their other lines, G.I. Joe Classified won out over the Black Series and is going to continue to win out over Marvel Legends. So, ladies and gents, that's it. Comment below and let me know, did you see anything at San Diego Comic-Con that made you think to yourself, man... I gotta cancel some pre-orders because there's some cool stuff coming. And if you did cancel pre-orders, let me know what you canceled. Let's hear the rationale. Let's read it because I can't hear what you're saying in the comments. Technicalities. Anywho, as always, I'll be leaving product links to things in the video description below. If there's Amazon product links, you can click on those. Buy whatever you want on Amazon. It'll help out the channel. I greatly appreciate it, just as I greatly appreciate all of you who've subscribed, all of you who've liked, commented. Continue to do so. It's a heck of a fun ride, and I'm ecstatic that you get to share it with me. So, with all that said... And until next time, have fun and happy snapping. See ya.